Okay guys, today we're going to paint pine cones. And I've got my metallic gold, my burnt umber, we have sap green, citrus green, and white. So I want you to see that I'm on a clay tile and like a ceramic tile for your bathroom or whatever. This has texture so it makes the paint stay really well. So these make really nice trivets and you put a little cork or whatever on the four corners and it's just a fun little trivet or you can just lean it up in the into your kitchen area i've actually gone and painted over some um tiles that were you know out of date in somebody's home because they couldn't afford to replace the tiles and as long as you don't take something abrasive to it i was able to paint stagger these along in a kitchen and it looked really good all right so these are great fun little gifts and my grandchildren love painting them and doing some fun little projects with them. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this first. I'm going to take, and this is not a tile, but it could be. I didn't have another tile here right now, so I did a little canvas board. All right, so you can hang this by ribbon and make a nice little Christmas gift. And what I'm doing is I'm going to pick up with my flat brush. I wet it. I, I lay it on a paper towel. And then I come over and I pick up the brown and go next to the white. All right. Now, sometimes you might need floating medium, but right now, I am with a small flat 12 brush, you should have enough paint in there to be able to do the strokes. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come here and do a branch. So, if you look up here, a branch is I'm lifting the front and dragging with my brush straight up and down. All right. Now, if you lean forward, I'm trying to show you this so you can see. If you lean forward, which most people do, that's a heavy branch instead of a vine. And on these pine cones, we're doing more of a branch, but not that heavy branch. Okay. So let me show you what I'm doing. I and sometimes I use golden brown. But this one I'm going to use white and burn umber, okay? And whatever goes first, or whatever follows, this what I want to say. If I was following on a dark surface, I wouldn't want the brown to follow because you wouldn't see it. But I'm going to, so I would turn it and have the white follow. But since there's a lighter surface, I'm going to come across here. And I want you to see that you have to have a light touch. We're going to come down, all right, pick up more paint. You might need a little floating medium, but this one doesn't seem to. Now, I'm just going to put these branches here, and I might do my pine cones and come back and add more branches later. Like, I can have a branch come in here. And watch this. I'm going to Y this off from here and have the branch come off of here, okay? Now, I want this down so it's showing a little bit more. So, see, I'm leading with the light color so that this dark color shows. And I'm going to put a little bit of snow on it, if you remember seeing my project. A little bit of snow. So, I can come and add those after I do with the pine cones. But I want you to see that this is a fun, simple project. But putting the uh, gold made it look more elegant. Alright, so I'm going to have two pine cones. Now, usually, I don't do even numbers, but on the pine cone, it didn't bother me that there was just two because sometimes in nature, that's just how they would be, all right? So, see how I'm getting the shape of the pine cone I want? And I can come down here instead of having them right next to each other. I'm going to come down a little bit lower, and you could do the same technique for any type of pine cones. So, I like to go on Pinterest and put pine cones and see there are different needles on the pine tree short needles and long needles and this is going to have a little bit longer needle and what happens is it shows you um there you go it shows you the different type of pine cone depending on if it's a fat round one or a longer one now i'm going to take and clean off that brush and i'm going to go down to um this is a 12 too what was this Okay, I'm going to go down and pick up my gold. Now, when I do this, I want you to see I'm picking up brown. Okay, and it's just in the brush. And then I'm going to continue to pick up gold. All right, 
so it's a little different consistency than your other paint all right so these are all water-based acrylic and I want you to see I'm gonna chisel this so I'm gonna push down and pull I want you to be able to see this so push down and pull so I do three there and then I put one in front can you see that so we have a point let me do it. we have a point and then I want to come out here and slice these across from so you don't see that line of the brown edge you see this I'm gonna push down and pull and it's a comma stroke so watch this I'm pushing and I'm standing up like a comma but what I'm doing I'm gonna be doing these side to side like that so it's gonna have just a touch of gold on the outside edge and what we did first though is we did one and then we had one on the side, one on the other side. And if you look at a pine cone, they have this little point at the beginning. All right. And so you notice when I put this last gold one, it makes it look like it's in front and circling that. So I keep picking the brown up so that you'll get a really good contrast. See that? So I'm going to come across here. I'm going to make sure my hand's out of the way so you can see this across here. Now I'm going to stagger these. So this one was there. I can have one here again. And maybe I pull this one from this side. Because see that one was from the other side. One. You could do another one here. See I turn the brush and another one there. Or you can just come across. And the last one I just make sure that it covers the edge that so this is a real simple little project especially if you do little things where you're selling little little gifts during the holidays but this is a great project on a greeting card and then I put sparkle and my snow and I put snow on here like I showed you earlier and when you put the snow across it, you're going to get texture, but I like to make it chunky. And then I like to add the glitter on it. Now, one thing I want to sh share with you is that when I get through with this, you ought to go look at my candle painting that I do with a halo. And it has lots of pine needles and snow on top of the whole project when we're done so go check that out i think you'll like that any of the product that you see me using just go to onestroke.com and find it and if you would like to be one of my instructors or find out where our instructors are or have online classes with me i have lots of them there so do me a favor and share this with your friends so um, so that they also can be painting one stroke and having a good time. Now I'm going to go now, I put the three quarter inch brush when I started, but I don't need that. I'm going to stay with this 12, the whole project. And I like using the same brush and doing the strokes because what happens, you see I'm working this in back and forth. What happens is that you paint quicker and it matters if you paint quicker, <laughs> if you're if you're selling your wares or you have a big family i have a big family and if i was making ornaments for everybody i have 26 grandbabies and seven children so and my girls always ask me to do their in-laws and, <laughs> and the kids all say meanwhile i've got school teachers just like my kids used to do and i can tell you a fun little story i remember my girls said me mom, I mean mom, you didn't make my teacher Christmas gift and they have back then they have five and seven teachers in middle school I mean elementary actually and so here I'm at my front door I remember the day I'm at my front door and I ran and painted it in like five minutes on a clay pot and oh by the way my teacher said to tell you she loves giraffes or some crazy thing and so I went what does that matter and she goes that's what she wanted you to paint for her for the Christmas ornament. So I'm at the front door with the blow dryer, blow drying this as they're running out the door to catch the bus. I could not believe, I mean that I still remember that, but I remember the day they did that to me and I'm like, oh no. Now I want you to see what happened there. 
I was busy talking, but I want you to see that I got a little bit of white. See that? Oops. How about a lot of white? All right. So I have this color and I go and just pick up a teeny bit of white. And look when you work that in, look how much brighter it makes the, it look. All right. So I did, remember what I said about what you're dragging behind? The dark is more dominant. Then I can turn it around and add some light in there. And there you go. So the last thing I did with this is I want to just take one of my brushes, pick up white. This is a little round brush. And I'm going to put snow by tapping. Now this is where I said put some glitter in here. And wow everybody with, I would make sure it's like um, iridescent type glitter. So it just, you can see that it makes the snow glisten. And I use diamond dust sometimes. We have diamond dust to put in there and it, it's like cracked ice and all, or glass. It looks really awesome. Okay, and that looks like it's going straight out, but <laughs> there we go. So how fun was that? And it's easy, and see, I covered all the branches, so this is what I would do. I don't want all my branches covered, so I'm just going to go back in here and do a few more branches. See that? So that a few more stick out and show. Because you don't know where you might want everything to be showing until you finish, right? There we go, because that looked weird just sticking straight out. So I hope you like this. Be sure to watch my candles, because I'm going to show you how to make the light glow on your candles. Sound fun? I'll see you later. Hi guys, I hope you liked the video. I've got a couple more here. I hope that you get to watch these and enjoy them. But I want to ask you something. Let's see how many likes we can get on this new video. I'm setting a goal. What about 500 likes in the next week? Are you game for that? And also, what I'd really like is for you to help me get subscriptions out there and get more people watching those paid and motivate you to do more, or me, to do more videos for you. Sound fun? All right. See you next time.